There had been a report earlier this spring that you had failed to close a $36 million fund. Yeah. I know you dispute the word failed. So oh, what's course. going on? Of course dispute the word failed. So what happened was we were raising a $36 million fund to invest a million dollars at a time into black women-led companies. And um, there's, there's a lot to go into that where you know, it, it, takes, it takes a while to raise a fund. And, and a journalist, not, not here, but another journalist decided that because we hadn't raised it yet, it was a failure, and that's what, they, that's what the headline said. And I just took offense at that word because it kind of really puts a finer point on what we're all going through as women and as people of color and as any underrepresented group, that there are these standards that are just so, so biased and so far beyond. I, did, I still, to this day, have not seen one article that says that the white male next to me, who I work with all the time, raising their $50 million, their $20 million, their $200 million fund, has failed because they've yet to get there yet. That doesn't make any sense. It's like saying that we're flying from New York to LA, and we're, we haven't landed in LA, so the, the flight has failed. <laughs> it's a failure. <laughs> so you are still raising. Yeah, we're still raising, and um, it's a general solicitation fund, which just is very boring, but it means that I can talk about it here. Normally, when you raise a venture fund, you can't go out and just talk about the raise, but we, we've done it legally where we can talk about it in press. So what do you think contributed to that word fail? Do you think it's the attention that you have received? Do you think it's, you know, you are shouldering everyone's expectations and yeah. pressures? Yeah, I mean, we could probably talk for hours about the bias that was in that article. And, and I, you have to ask, ask the, the white male journalist who wrote it what he was thinking and what he does think of it. Um, I'm not going to say it's all bias. I mean, he had some fair points, but he was, you know, speaking accurately about a lot of things. It was just in the way that he said, you know, she's, she's gotten way too much attention way too fast and it's like that to me what that sounded like was she needs to sit down and shut up and he was putting me in my place mm. and that you know I've been put in my place all my life you know and I just bounce back up and get out of line you know and I, I feel like when I'm doing that I'm not doing it for myself I honestly feel like anytime those types of things happen I know because I speak to all of you on a daily basis that I'm, I'm representing some, someone else and something bigger than myself. And so, you know, I, I didn't shed one tear about it, um, but it was frustrating because um, there are so many people who do want, you know, there's some people in life who pull for you and want you to win and adjust your crown when it's, when it's shaky. And there's some people who put their foot out. And I try to surround myself with the people who are in the former 